Hello and welcome to this installment of the Purdue Pedia Video Guide. My name is Rebecca Holstein and in this video I will be teaching you about how to add green links to your page, enabling you to highlight specific features of a molecule. To begin, I'm going to head on over to a sandbox page, which allows you to practice making edits without accidentally messing up a page that you're working on. So before we can add any green links to our page, we first need to add a 3D applet. To do this, make sure that you're logged into your account, then click edit this page, move your cursor over to where you would like to add the 3D applet, and click this green 2x2 checkered box. This is going to insert a few lines of wiki text, one asking you to insert a heading. So I'm going to make sandbox page my heading. Then it's going to ask you to insert a PDB code to load the structure that you'd like to show. And then you can change the size, align it differently, and caption it. I'm going to caption mine, GP1 of Lassa virus. So one of the cool things about these 3D applets is that the 3D applet will stay shown on the page while you're able to scroll through the text. So all the text that you'd like to be able to scroll through, you're going to go ahead and insert that inside the structure sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now that we have this done, we can go ahead and start making our green links. So today I'm going to have a green link that highlights the histidine triad of the GP1 of Lassa virus. I can go ahead and save this page now and I will see all of my text that I can scroll through while my 3D applet is displayed here. So again I'm going to click edit this page to start baking my green links. I can scroll down to scene authoring tools and click show. So once I have this, I can either load a scene that I'd previously been working on, or I can start new and load up a molecule. You can either load up a molecule by a PDB code, or you can load from a Protopedia uploaded file. I'm going to load by the PDB code that I used for my 3D applet, 4ZJF, and that's going to pop up over here to the right. So now that I have that, I can start making my green link. So I would only like to have one chain. As you can see here, this molecule consists of four different chains. So to only show one chain, also known as hiding the other chains, I would like to select the other three chains. First, whenever you select atoms, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that select atoms is selected to none to make sure that you have none previously selected. Then I'm going to click limit to chains, the ones that I would like to select, B, C, D, and I can go ahead and add this to my selection. As we can see here, nothing has been selected, we can't see anything, and that's because our halos are turned off. To turn them on, simply select on, and you'll be able to see what you've selected highlighted with the halos. Now that I have this selected, I can go to Representations and click Hide Selection. Then I can go ahead and go back to Selections, click Invert Current Selection, which will go ahead and invert the selection I previously had, and I can center on Current Selection. I'm going to go ahead and remove Halos, and here we have our Chain A that I'd like to work with. So now that I have Chain A, I would like to select the histidine triad. So I already know the residue numbers that I would like to select. I can go ahead and insert them into this box. And remember, make sure no atoms have been selected. I only want to select them on chain A. And I can add this to my selection. If I turn on halos, I will be able to see them selected. Next, I would like to change the representation and the color so they are more clearly visible on this molecule. So to do this, first I can go to representations, 
then I can change it to whatever representation I'd like. I'm going to change it to ball and stick and click set representation. And we can see them changed here. To make it even more clear, I'm going to change the color. Let's do deep pink. So now that I have the representation and the color changed, I would also like to make the rest of the molecule transparent. So then the histidine triad will be very clearly shown. To do this, we can go to selections, invert current selection. So that's going to select everything except for the histidine triad. I'm going to go to colors, scroll down to where it says transparent, and I'm going to make it 99% transparent. And if we scroll up back here and remove the halos, we'll be able to see that the rest of the molecule is transparent except for the histidine triad. Last but not least, I'm going to label the histidine triad. To do this, I am going to go over to mouse click selects, click atom, so I can click select specific atoms on these histidines and click make sure my halos are turned on so I can see what I'm selecting. I'll see one highlight. And then I can label it whatever I'd like. So I'm going to label it with a three letter residue code a resi and a residue number. So I can just select the boxes and click set label. And I can see them labeled here, HIS92, HIS93, and HIS230. So now that I'm done with my scene, I would like to go ahead and save the scene. To do this, I'm going to click Save Scene, and I can label the scene whatever I'd like. So I'm going to label it His Triad, and then click Save Current Scene. So once this is saved, I would like to insert scene link. To make this even easier, I would like to highlight the text where I want to insert this, scroll down, and click Insert Scene Link. So now I can come back and I can see that the words that I would actually like to be made into my green link are put exactly where they needed to for this scene. So before I want to save this page, I want to preview it to make sure everything is right. So first, make sure you hide the scene authoring tools. Then we can click Show Preview, and I can see this page without fully saving it. Then I can click Histidine Triad, and the scene that we just worked on is going to show up right here. So this is exactly how I wanted it. So now that I have this, I'm going to save the page. To do this, I'm going to go down and click Save Page. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this video.